So I have a piece of sea glass here. It's a flat piece. You can use pebbles to practice on and you can find copper wire cheaply. I'm using the 18 gauge, one millimeter of wire. It's silver coated and it's copper and it's quite flexible. So it's very soft. So you need to take a strip of wire, uh, just under a metre. Maybe take, take a bit longer, just to be sure when you're practising that you have enough. So sh straighten, harden the wire a little bit by smoothing it out. And then we find the center and you take your round nose pliers and roll the wire around the pliers. Oops, there we go. And I do this about three times. and then twist the two ends together to hold them in, in place. You can straighten this out with your flat nosed pliers. And there you have the loop at the top. Straighten out the pieces of wire and find which way you would like your sea glass to sit or your crystal or your pebble or just a rock from the street or the garden so lie the pebble or sea glass on top of the wire and then fold the wire over till it crosses in the middle. Hold on to the wire and your piece of sea glass or pebble tightly and then fold the two arms of the wire over each other and this is where you can start a spiral and then just And spiral the wire around, turning the sea glass and holding the wire tightly together. And there we have a nice little spiral. And take the one of the wires up to the top. Now you're holding this loop close to the pebble, so wrapping it from the front over the back holds the back onto the front and then this one can go around the back to hold the two sides in place and then this one in the center this one can wrap around the loops and there this pebble or sea glass this piece of sea glass is it's quite sturdy in there it by the time we finished it won't be going anywhere and the back looks like this now at this stage I sometimes make sure I've got the because I still have quite a bit of length here so I want to make sure that this piece of sea glass is not going to go anywhere at all before I finished just in case I need this bit of extra wire to add a bit more strength so you can take your flat nose pliers and you can make these tighter just by crimping it in place 
and this one and that just pulls the wire tighter and then you can do the center and then test and that is now firmly in place so you can take these two wires and you can start to wrap around your bell and you can scarf it around and then that little end there can be tucked into the little bowl that you've created here So push that in with your pliers, tuck it in so that there's no sharp edges. And you can create a little scarf around the loop, like you're scarfing a face. And then this end. You can snip off about halfway across the little face that you've scarfed and then you can push that end into that space and then you've got no tight edges and there you have your pendant, your wire wrapped pendant is made. It's quite simple. I will show you in another video how to hoop some jump rings on and you can string it onto a pendant. But I will do some more tutorials. Um, I'm practicing doing these videos and I will definitely do some more and hopefully you'll get something of it. Thank you for watching.